Now we're going to have a little example on the problems with cross-contamination and how easy it is for you to spread a uh, potential um, infection or pathogen across to somebody else. What I've done here is I've just um, handled um, a, a, a product with some ultraviolet dye on. So it would be just like you working in a kitchen maybe, or maybe you've just been working in cleaning chemicals and there's something on you. So here it's not massively dirty, but what we've got is some dirt on my hands. What I'm going to do is to go away, uh, I'm going to wash my hands just as often as you would. You know, because often when people wash their hands, they just literally just rub them over, they don't wash them thoroughly. Now we've got other videos where you can see how to wash your hands correctly. And the idea here is because this is an ultraviolet agent, if you had to hold the light up, you'll see the areas where just normal hand washing just doesn't clean. What we then can do is see how easy it is to then cross-contaminate something even once you've washed your hands. If we just look at how contaminated my hands are, taking the UV light, if we just run it down, you'll see where the contaminant is, it starts to glow. So you can see within the cracks of my fingers, with my fingerprints, it's there. If we turn my hand over, you can see it going up my wrist, there's some uh, specks of dust there, in between the fingers as well, and the fingernails. Now this can be more of a problem if maybe if you're wearing a watch. Uh, when you're wearing a watch, you can maybe get the dirt underneath it, which is why you should take your watches and jewelry off. So there's quite a lot of contaminant on there. So now when we wash the hands, we'll see how much of that we actually remove. So I've now washed my hands. Just done a normal wash, dried them with a hot air dryer and also wiped them with a towel even. So what we've got here, if you look at my hands now, they, they look clean. Um, there's no powder on them, so that they're nice and clean. But when we take the UV light and then we bring the UV light down over the hand, you can see it's starting to make it glow. You see how much is still on the backs of my fingers, in between my fingers, and particularly around the nail beds. When we looked before, we saw it coming up my thumb, and what has happened is whereas it was just a few dots before, that's now expanded into quite a lot because the actual contaminant has been spread over my hand. Looking at the palm of my hand, you can see how much of that is still there. And this was just a normal hand wash that you would do. It's not you know, just a very a weak one, this is a, a fairly good hand wash, but it's because it hasn't been done correctly. So does that really matter? Well, yeah, it does matter. Now you approach somebody, you think this person is clean. If I'm going to be touching some food or I'm touching somebody else, then I can potentially infect them. Example can be telephones. So hands down looks clean. Pick up the telephone, put the telephone down, you can't see anything on it. If we then take the UV light over it, as we bring it down, you'll start to see, and you can see where my hand has been. You can see that start to glow. Just been picking that up once, this was completely clean before, and now we've got um, a lot of the contaminant on it. So what would then happen if we got somebody else to then pick this up, they would then get that onto their hands. So they pick up the telephone, put the telephone down, and then maybe they then put their hands to their mouths, touch a cut, um, eat, things like this, then the risk of getting this cross-contamination is very, very great. Now, this is just a, a, an example using UV, but this is a real problem. You've got to make sure you keep your hands clean. You've got to make sure if you're in a kitchen environment, you've got to keep them clean between touching the likes of um, uh, fresh meat to cheese or any other uh, group, and wash your hands correctly. If you're working in other environments, you need to make sure that your hands are completely clean and you wash them correctly. If you need more advice, watch the video on how to clean your hands, but you need to spend some time doing it. It takes at least two or three minutes to properly wash your hands.